Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Outdoor Boys, and today we've got a lot of stuff planned. It's going to be fun. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's coming up here in the near future, some of our upcoming videos, give you some sneak peeks, and then I'm going to answer my favorite questions and comments from the internet trolls. Yep, we've got some absolute gems that have been posted this week and I just needed to share. So first off, I've got a video where me and the whole family do a taste test of MREs in various survival foods. And we also have a great baby review video. A lot of you guys have been asking me uh, some questions about how to pick the right baby when you're shopping for babies. So I went and did a review of the most expensive and the cheapest babies on Amazon.com. So great video coming up there. Um, I also have this battle axe that I'm working on restoring. As awesome as these videos are, they are not as awesome as the questions and comments left by the many internet trolls on one of my latest videos. Uh, about a month or so ago, I did a video on how to humanely trap and relocate toddlers. And the video was amazing. And it was everything that you would expect from a video with that title. And YouTube apparently is digging on it too because it's been getting 60,000 views a day. And ugh, it's just amazing, the comments. Uh, and I can't even scratch the surface of all the comments that have been left. You've got to spend some time reading those comments. They're brilliant, okay? But uh, I can tell a lot of people are concerned and a lot of people um, want to express themselves at me. So I'm gonna take a moment to answer their questions because gosh darn it, internet trolls are people too. So without further ado, I'm gonna read and answer the best questions and concerns for my internet trolls. Cheryl Aguirre asked, why did you throw the baby and the toddler? Well, Cheryl, I love my children equally, so I treat them equally. I don't wanna show favoritism to one. If you're gonna throw one kid, throw them all. Julian Arias asked, why did you throw them WTF? Well, Julian, good question. Throwing children in sacks helps them stay unconscious in transport. Fun Tang said, I hate your vid. Well, Fun Tang, I think you spelled love wrong. <laughs> Lila Blacklaw said, I was a good toddler. Lila, no one believes you. Miss underscore cuties underscore corner said, I am a bit concerned you shouldn't have kids. Well, Miss underscore cuties underscore corner, I don't have kids. If you'd watch the video, you'd know I had abandoned them in a park. So please watch the whole video before you leave a comment. Julia Irene said, if you really do that to your kids, you are really bad at taking care of your child. This is true, Julia. But if you really do this, you really don't have kids. So does it really matter? Think about it. Lockjaw said, it's amazing YouTube censors haven't caught on this video yet. There's a really good explanation for that, Lockjaw. YouTube is owned and run by people who have children. They get it. Along the similar lines, Van Tran said, you might be in jail for that. You only need one parent on the jury. One. Funtime Foxy said, don't touch the child! Exclamation point. That's a good point, Miss Foxy. Never touch children. They often carry many diseases. That's why I use burlap sacks to transport the children after trapping them. Clementi Magaganoli said, is this even legal? With two skeptical emoji faces. Good question, Magaganoli. Check your local state hunting and trapping regulations to find out whether trapping children is legal in your area and make sure you get all the proper permits and obey all bag limits and seasons. Stephanie Hughes said, how dare you treat kids like animals? And then she has a purple devil emoji. Well, Stephanie, I figure people treat animals like they're babies, so why can't I treat babies like they're animals? Kind of makes sense if you think about it. I call them my hairless fur babies. Brianna Dozier said, that's men, don't throw them. I don't throw men, Brianna, I throw children. Watch the video. Alexander Gomez said, you just throw your kids, exclamation point. Alexander, I don't have kids. I let them go, remember? Please, people, watch the video. Ender Gamer asked, is this a joke? Well, Ender Gamer, 
toddler infestations are no joke. Actually, one of my internet trolls is someone who's kind of internet famous right now. It's a member of the IHOP marketing team, Mr. Buckles Roblox. He said, you are dump. I see what you did there, Mr. Mr. Buckles. You gotta, you gotta turn that upside down. Ethan Stout asks, what's gonna happen when you realize the child is dead? Well, Ethan, in that situation, you can skip the chloroform and just go straight to relocation. Thachi Muto said, please never kill children. Well, Miss Muto, what if they become zombies? Never say never. LOH underscore me said, fake. How in the world and why you throw them like that? LOH underscore me, I'm concerned. You use the word fake, but the rest of your comment makes me think you may not understand what that means. IDK commented, the sad part is that you guys are actually watching this. Thanks for the view and the comment, IDK. I appreciate the support. Robux user Emily8283001 said, why just why? They are your child. You're not a rat. You can tell them to clean it or you can ground them. That's a good point, Miss 8283001. But if you think about it, abandoning them at a park is kind of like grounding them. Troy Velez said, you can suffocate a kid doing by putting them headfirst into a bag. Troy, I'd like to see a tutorial video on that. Thanks for the suggestion. Leighton Hines said, that's stupid, you are complete dumb. Well, Leighton, you might be right, but since my kids have been gone, I can poop by myself and I sleep at night. So it's kind of a win. Raziel Martinez said, why you put them in the bag? He probably couldn't breathe. Well, Raziel, that would explain why my children died in transport and I had to use actors to finish the rest of the video. Good point. Pat Pat said, you know they could just reach their hand in the bars and get the donut, right? Well, that's true, Pat Pat, but they could also go to bed without complaining or pick up their own toys but it ain't gonna happen. Scott Dillon Penaflor said, that's some bad parenting, better just build a wall. That's right, I'm gonna build a wall and have my kids pay for it. I'm gonna make this house great again. Charmander Gamer said, not to be rude, but you're a kind of kidnapping kids. Actually, Charmander Gamer, I'm not kidnapping kids. Kidnapping is when you take other people's children. What I'm doing is getting rid of my own children. It's an important difference. Well, here's an unfortunately angry comment. Safa Abadala said, you're so rude, you trapped a walking baby. I don't get it. When did trapping and drugging children become rude? People are very sensitive nowadays. Amber Jandro said, you are an imbecile. Don't do that. That's abusing your child and those are your children, you imbecile. Well, Amber, if you had watched the video, you would know that I don't have children anymore. So who is the imbecile now? <laughs> JP4U Lang said, they could suffocate you, idiot. Well, JP4U Lang, I doubt they could suffocate me. They were knocked out and tied up in a bag, so that's pretty unlikely. Brandon Walden commented, you just put a baby in his traveling. Somewhere I mean you just don't want to ground the sack, really not responsible. Well, Brandon, I think your Google Translate might have a virus. So if you have a friend who's IT savvy, you might want to have them take a look at it, run a antivirus software or something because uh, nobody understood that. Asher Yavitz asked, he threw a baby. Did anyone notice that? Asher, everyone noticed. Aiden LaDuke said, you have actual issues. Well, Mr. LaDuke, I have three actual issues, but they're in bags now. It's taken care of. Ivy Wilson said, you a horrible daddy. Well, Ivy, I'm not a daddy anymore. I'm just a horrible person. Deathclaw Boy said, I pooped on my own face. Gil Rattley Poo said, I reported this video. Thanks, Gil Rattley Poo. That's pretty darn close to a share. I appreciate the support. Isaac Barnhat also expressed his concern. He said, idiot, you would do that. You should love them. Well, Isaac, sometimes when you love someone, you've got to let them go. Darren Morgan said, look what he does to the children. He is going to smuggle them. So, uh, Darren, you're saying I'm a smuggler? You know, I did the Kessel run in 12 parsecs. Matt Swenson said, 
you're a child abusing. Well, Matt, I'm 39 years old. I'm hardly a child. Joshua Amaji from Queens, New York said, what if they cry till they vomit? Well, Joshua, that's why you put them in the bags. Kaylee Trong asked, are you killing kids mean? No, Kaylee, I'm killing them nice. Finn C simply commented with 23 thumbs down emojis. I responded with 45 thumbs up emojis. In your face, Flynn. I am everything said, I hate you as a dad, even though it's probably a joke. Your mom has free donuts waiting for you in the front yard, kid. <laughs> Alvin Best asked, why would you smell that dirty dipper? Well, Alvin, tasting diapers is gross. Just stick to smelling them. Sketcher is awesome friends said, child abuser, you just kept throwing them like you don't care. Throw your kids in the air like you just don't care. What? Well guys, that is all I have time for. I wish I could show you all the stupid comments people have left, but please go check out the video. Go click on the link below, read the comments and vote for your favorite cheeky response to stupid comments. And if you have some of your own, feel free to leave them. They make for some great reading. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and we got great stuff coming up. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video.